Woody Baby Smile. The day is finally here that we become husband and wife. We have experienced quite a bit in the last few years, and I ne never dreamed that this was where we would be today. Our wedding day. I love you so much. And really, words do not express how deep my feelings are for you. You complete me. The touch, the hug, the kiss, and the unspoken connection. Sorry. I promise you to my all to be your funny wife. I will be try, but we know. Relationship. <laughs> I will try to keep you laughing and always be there for you. I will love you always. I love you. I love you too. I loved you many years ago and then we disconnected. And the best thing that's ever happened to me was when we reconnected. And though we've been through hard times and good times, we've survived that and made us stronger. Our love is strong to reach it withstand anything and I love you so much that I know I'll spend the rest of my life making you smile, protecting you, and doing whatever I can to make you happy. And that's how much I love you.
Who gives this woman to be married today? Please be seated. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of these two hearts. In this ceremony today, we will witness the joining of Woody and Jan in marriage. If there is anyone present who has just cause as to why this couple should not be united, it's a little too late. Let us read briefly about love here in 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. And it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always, always perseveres. Love never fails. Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. It's a way to tell one another that no matter how much you snore or how much you spent while shopping, that we're still in this together. Marriage is telling the person you love that you're not going anywhere. And that's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. A good marriage must be built on this foundation Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the duty, but in sacrifice. It is in a spirit of joy. It is not looking for perfection in one another, but it is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each of you can grow. It is the common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, but it is being the right partner. Woody, do you promise to be Jan's light in the darkness, a warming comfort in the cold, and a shoulder to lean on when life is too much to bear on your own? Do you promise to make her laugh, make her think, and make her happy? Do you promise to be her navigator, best friend, and husband? Do you promise to honor, love, and cherish her through all of life's adventures so that wherever you go, you'll always go together? Do you vow to always protect her from harm and to stand with her against her troubles and to look to her when you need protection? I do. 
and Jan. Do you promise to be Woody's guiding light in the darkness, a warming comfort in the cold, and a shoulder to lean on when life is too much to bear on your own? Do you promise to make him laugh, make him think, and make him happy? Do you promise to be his navigator, best friend, and wife? Do you promise to honor, love, and cherish him through all of life's adventures so that wherever you go, you'll always go together? Do you vow to always protect him from harm and to stand with him against his troubles and to look to him when you need protection? Prior to the ceremony, both Woody and Jan exchanged their wedding vows in a private moment that they will cherish forever. Now, they want to display this commitment to all of you, their family and friends, through the exchanging of rings. Who has the rings? Our wedding rings are made precious by your wearing of them. Your rings say that even in your uniqueness that you've chosen to be bound together. Let these rings also be a sign that love has substance as well as a soul, a present as well as a past, and that despite its occasional sorrows, love is a circle of happiness, wonder, and delight. May these rings remind you always of the vows that you have taken here today. Woody, please place the ring on the third finger of Jan's left hand and repeat after me. I, Woody, I, Woody give, you Jan, give you Jan this ring, this ring as, an internal symbol as an internal symbol of my love, of my love and commitment to you. And Jan, please place this ring on the third finger of Woody's left hand and repeat after me. I, Jan, give you Woody this ring as an eternal symbol of my love and commitment to you. Jan and Woody, today you join your separate lives together. The two separate bottles of sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families, separate set of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as an individual. But they also represent your lives before today. As these two containers of sand will be poured into the third container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Jan and Woody, just as these grains of sand can never be separated, our prayer for you today is that your lives together would be longer than the time that it takes to separate each individual grain of sand. Jan and Woody will begin with a layer of white sand, which symbolizes that the marriage is grounded in the foundation of God. And then they will layer their individual colors. These symbolize that the marriage is based on the strengths of both Jan and Woody.
For inasmuch as you, Woody, and you, Jan, have consented together in the union of matrimony, and you have pledged your faith to each other in the presence of these witnesses, now, by the authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Woody, you may now kiss your bride. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Woody Newman.
string it.
that needs that love. We thank you for this night, for this beautiful weather, and for this couple. We bless your holy name. Thank you for this food. Amen. Amen. All right, I believe we're ready for the toast. We're going to kick things off with Hillary. Please come up. Don't forget your drink. Don't forget your drink. just the laughter that they share, and there's lots of it, but in the quiet moments where the depths of their connection, the real, genuine, effortless love shines in their eyes. It's easy to see that we bring us Jan a measurable. That's true. Woody and Jan, remember to share. May your lives be a testament to the power of love filled with endless champagne moments, laughter that fills the room, and adventures that take you around the globe and back, or at least at Daytona. <laughs> My wish for you is simple but profound, loads of happiness, endless love, and lifetime moments that leave you laughing so hard that you cry. Yes. To Jan and Woody. Up next, we got Destiny. Good evening. 
Jeannie and everybody. Today is a truly special day, not just because it's a wedding day, but because it's my dad's wedding day. It's a day that brings together two people who are deeply in love, and it also marks a new beginning for our family. Dad, I want to take a moment to express how happy and grateful I am to be here with you today. Witnessing your love and commitment to someone who clearly captured your heart. As your daughter, I've had the privilege of seeing you through all the different stages of your life, and I've always admired your strength, your kindness, and your unwavering support for me and my children. Seeing you find happiness with someone who makes you smile, who loves you just as much as you deserve, is a joy for me. It's a reminder that love can find us at any age and bring renewed purpose and happiness to our lives. I want to take this opportunity to welcome Jan into our family. I'm excited to get to know you even better and to see the two of you embark on this beautiful journey together. May your days be filled with love, laughter, and all of the happiness that you both deserve. Dad, thank you for being an incredible father and showing me what love, commitment, and family truly mean. I wish you and Jan a lifetime of love, joy, and countless beautiful moments together. If Grandma was here, she would be so proud of you and so honored to have Jan in our family. I would like to just read one scripture before ending this speech. It's from 1 Corinthians. Do everything in love. Let's raise our glasses to my amazing dad and Jan and to the love that knows no boundaries. Up next, we got Devin. Why, hello there. <laughs> By this point, if you haven't met me, that seems like a you issue. My name is Devin, a.k.a. the favorite child of four. Those are the ones that were added in recently, I guess. Today is a beautiful day as we gather to celebrate not only a union of hearts, but also an incredible woman, my mother. I'm out of breath, sorry. <laughs> Mom, through every step of life, you've always been my constant. Through my stages growing up and letting me cry my eyes out, answering the phone at 3 a.m. to talk me through my panic attacks, always being my excuse to do anything, you know the good, oh, I'm sorry, I can't, my mom said no. <laughs> yeah. You've supported or guided me through almost every large decision in life and hardest moments. You offered me a cap when I got denied for my first choice university. Uh, you supported my move from Florida to Colorado and reminded me to not make permanent decisions based on current scenarios. And most importantly, you stood by my side when I came out. <laughs> The only question Jan asked me when I first told her was, is Sarah a good person? Because that's who Jan is. She only cares about who you are as a person. She doesn't care about your background or anything else. She just wants to make sure that you're going to be there and support us through ever what we go through in life. Mom, you deserve all the happiness in the world. So Woody, I hope you're ready to step up to the plate. As we celebrate your love today, I want to thank you for not just being a wonderful mother, but also a wonderful role model, a friend, and a constant source of inspiration. Your love has shaped me into the person I am today, and I am so grateful for every lesson, every hug, and every moment that we've shared. Here's to a future filled with continued love, happiness, and unforgettable moments. Congratulations, Jan and Woody. I love you more than words can express. Cheers! And now Woody has a couple of words he likes to say. Uh, yeah, when he said a couple, he wasn't right. Uh, anybody who knows me very well knows I'm not very traditional, so we're fixing to go off the grid here. Uh, I'd like for my daughter, my granddaughter, and my grandson to stand up. Uh, 
want to thank you all for being in my way, for supporting me with my decision. Nobody else you stand up to. That's right. Uh, but I want to thank y'all. Uh, Destiny, I've lived with you and the grandkids for the last 14 years. We've been through this and that and the other, and we came out on the other side. And we've all grown because of it. Uh, I wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for my daughter, mainly because I had to ask her permission. <laughs> that makes sense. Chloe? You're an amazing young lady. You've got a lot to offer. And just keep on doing what you're doing. Get, think outside the box a little bit. And just, uh, you're very talented. And you know I love you more than anything. Draven, if I wasn't your papa, I think I was your dad. You're so much like me, and that's scary. you got a personality. You walk, through, walk into a room, and you know everybody right off the bat. And just use that personality to lead other people to do the right thing. Uh, Amos, where's Amos at? Stand up. Nobody sit down now. This is a lifelong friend. Uh, he never let me down anytime I needed something. I don't think we've ever had a hard word to each other. Uh, He's just a great friend. He uh, actually just got off a cruise Thursday that landed here in Tampa. So it worked out great for him being here. But when I asked him to be here, he was like, yeah, I'm going to be there. And uh, when we were younger, I actually thought we looked like brothers. We looked so much alike. You can't really tell that now because he's aged a lot faster than I have. <laughs> Mark? This is Mark. I met him when he was 14. I was his baseball coach, and he was my catcher. Uh, I hope I've been as good a friend as I was a coach, because I was an awesome coach. And I'll have to say you're a lot better friend than you were a catcher. <laughs> no, you're an all-star in both categories. All of them. Where's Mike? I met Mike through Mark about three years ago, and he's probably... One of the few people I ever met that we were instant friends. We shook hands, and it was like we'd known each other for 20 years. Uh, I have a lot more to say about him, but Jan read it and edited most of it out. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to pr I appreciate all y'all being in the wedding, uh, and uh, it means a lot. And where's Michael? He's over here. I met Michael about three years ago, and he's a character. Yes, he is. I know, I know that he enjoys me joining the family because now he's not the only one that has to carry luggage. <laughs> but I want to thank everybody that traveled, everybody from close and from from far that came here to be with Dan and myself tonight. It's a pleasure that you're all here. Right now, I'd like for my family, if you're kin to me, and table number eight, my friends, if you're a friend or family, I want you to stand up. Y'all going to have to move because they're getting on the dance floor. You don't have to know how to dance. You just got to get on the dance floor.
Jan and Woody, we love you guys. And we wish you the very best. Yes. Happy marriage. Happy marriage. Happy journey. Yes. Love you guys. Jan, Woody, I'm so happy and proud of you guys. Jan, I'm so happy you invited me today. And you look beautiful. Woody, you looked amazing. And overall, just a beautiful day. Love you both and good luck in the future. Hi, Grandma Jan. I just want to tell you how much we love you and how much we are so happy for you and all the happiness that you're creating for yourself. I'm so proud of you and you are so beautiful tonight. And thank you so much for keeping the Walter babies, your grandbabies, in the wedding party, as well as this beautiful baby. Look at this. Love you your both. Your Carrero. Love you, both. So you keep all the babies in the wedding and we love you so much and thank you so much. We are so happy for you guys. We love you. Dad and Jan, I'm so excited for y'all and what y'all have to come in your future. Um, I just will pray for y'all and pray that everything goes well. And this has been the best wedding I've ever been to. Woody and Jan, what a great night. It's Easter weekend and a, a new start for so many things. I wish you the very best. I wish you the best happiness in a life uh, full of commitment and dedication to each other and to the, to the good of all people. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye. Uh, Woody and Jan, we just met, or I just met, Tidin. Uh, congratulations, it's a beautiful wedding, uh, I teared up a little bit, I thought it was great. I wanted to hear the vows, we didn't get to hear the vows, but, you know, uh, and, uh, we love you from here on out. Love you Mom. Yeah, love you guys, bye. Congratulations. Hello, Jan, we love you. We love you so much. You're welcome. The Walter family loves you so much. Thank you for including Addie as your flower girl. And here's baby Ryan to celebrate you and Woody. We love you guys so much and thank you so much for including us in your special day. Ryan, what do you want to say? That's true. Love you. Hi, Jen. Hi, Woody. We just wanted to wish you all the best on your marriage and congratulations. We love you. Many peace and blessings, and we um, we just want, we're wishing uh, true happiness for you. Love you. All right. Congratulations, Woody and Jan. We're so excited for y'all. Congrats, Woody and Jan. I'm we so love happy you guys. You guys. Jan, we uh, Alan and I both were here, and we're glad to walk down the aisle, and uh, very proud to do so. And uh, even though you weren't there for as much <laughs> as, as kids, always going the Always not going our way, but you know what it is what it is. We overcame, and uh, Woody. Just hopefully uh, one day you'll get out of your shell and uh, talk a little more. That'd be great. So we appreciate that. So here you go. So Jay and Woody, really happy for you both. Excited for you both for your future, and uh, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your special day. And I really hope uh, everything works out. And. Uh, we really hope that we can see more of each other, and really excited to see you uh, up in Indy more, uh, Woody. And uh, take care. 